Okay, so um, uh, standard tuning with a capo on the third fret. Um, uh, the first chord is a G, and it's this kind of G. First finger on the second fret of the A, second finger on the third fret of the low E, third finger on the third fret of the B, and pinky on the third fret of the high E. And your third finger and fourth finger are gonna stay there for the whole song. <laughs> oh, until the, until the end. Um, so we're gonna do a couple chords that all have that, right? So um, now you switch to this D, it's a D sus4, first finger on the second fret of the G and that, right? And then you still have that. Now, the next chord is this chord, which is like an A, it's an A7 sus4. First finger on the second fret of the D and the third and fourth finger are still there. But the way you get there is with this little trick. Um, so you're on G and then you hit the D. Now you pick up that first finger from the G and sort of strum that with the open. And then on the next down strum, hammer on the first finger to the second fret on the D. So it's like... So again, you, you've played this D. Now pick up the first finger, strum up, and then on your next down, you hammer this on. Now your first finger has a, a lot to do for a second because it's gonna go. So you have to go. It's kind of like a. First finger moves from the second fret on the D to the second fret on the A, and then it hammers on. The first finger hammers to the second finger on the third fret of the A. So, um, and now you're in this chord. And then your first finger hammers on the second fret of the D again. So, um, and then hammer on, and let it go. And that's sort of always what you do on this C. Um, so this is the last of the chords, right? So, the, I mean, the basic chords are G, you can think of it as G, D, A, C, but with these little tricks. And when you get to the C, you always go, um, it's always that hammer on, first finger hammering on the second fret of the D, and then coming right back up to play open D. So it's almost like you're, you're more on this chord than you are on this chord, but it does hammer that on. So that's the verse, it's just those four chords. Strumming is going to, 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 to on that first G you can kind of do a you know so it's like a down down in the intro it, it hangs on this for another measure so um, and it kind of does this so it does that hammer on again it's a little ornament you, it's not not essential to the song, but if you want to do it, it does sound nice. So it's like... And then you're in the verse. Okay, and then eventually you get to... So I shortened the verses, obviously, when I played through it. Um, when you're done with all the verses, the chorus starts on this chord, on the A one. Um, first finger on the second fret of the D. I think on the record that I hear it go, you know... I start to play it live and just go straight from the A to the C. So all you have to do is put your second finger down on the third fret of the A. Your first finger, your or third finger, and your fourth finger get to stay where they are. And then the next one is G, and all you have to do is move first and second down a string each. So A to C to G to D and back to A. on the A longer. So it's two beats on each of these. Two, two, one, two, one, two, and then on the A it's four beats here. Three, four, and then now the the first chorus ends by going it gets to this and now it hangs on this for a whole extra bar. And 
and does kind of that same trick that from the intro of on the C, but now on the A. Same thing though, hammering on the first finger onto the D string. The second chorus in the same part, so you know, the chorus is kind of like one thing that repeats twice. The second time, the second chorus, so the second chorus, A, C, G, D, A, for four beats, back to A for two beats, C for two beats, G for two beats, D for two beats, and now you go to this weird chord is what takes you into the outro. So this chord is like first finger on the third fret of the A, and I'm using my second finger, you could use your third finger on the fourth fret of the D. The only strings I hear is the A, the D, the G, and the B. Like I don't hear that note. It's kind of hard to not pick that note. So you don't want to pick the low E string or the high E string. So I'm kind of like, like I, I do this thing where I have my pinky go over here to mute it. Or you can just kind of be careful with your picking. And it does kind of pick around a little bit. So it starts with two measures of this, the outro, and then it goes into the outro, which is this chord, which is like a power chord up the third fret. So first finger on the third fret of the low E and third finger on the fifth fret of the A. And again, I don't hear the high E, but I hear this is for a bar. This for a bar. So third finger stays where it is, first finger moves down to the second fret. Phoebe uses her um, thumb. I find this really hard. Um, but some people are good at using their thumbs. So she hooks her thumb around the neck to play the second fret and then goes back to this. And this this is for two measures. The other for one word for one measure each. So it's one, two, goes on for a lot longer than I played it um, and yeah that that I mean it, you can kind of just strum it like this just all downs like that and that could be cool but there is kind of like some of that kind of picky stuff if you if you are if you're good at that <laughs> um, you know where you kind of like just strum and Okay, um, let me know if I forgot anything or if you have any questions, and thanks very much for watching.